I would like to say that uh, it's such a somber day, of course, for us here in Ngora. My name is Isaac Oluput, and I would like to say that all of you are catching us from wherever you're catching us from. Allow me some reporting live from Ngora, what we call Ngora District, uh, Ngora Town Council. And uh, we are here behind the field of uh, Teso Integrated, shared with uh, Ngora Township. Akotongo, I live in Alice. I'm a people. I'm getting on into a cup of bacon. I'm calling the decking as a thing. I'm getting on Chepacare, Jaino Ladek is an idea. Go back it a last one day. A paki uncle of a talos it. Papa has been really an agriculturalist actually because this year he appeared in New Vision as the best fish farmer in the whole of Mora district and that is Teso. At Papa Chile he was a sportsman. TV. He live on Ora. He a director Loteso Integrated, Ngora. Uncle Charles Yoroko. We were not happy with the decision. We and our late father and we are here for the barrier of uh, a gentleman i would say an icon when i say just a gentleman everyone else can be a gentleman but an icon one of the icons that teso has greatly lost i would like to say that all of you are catching us of course i would like to put forward remind you uh, that oyuruka the man today whom crowds and thousands have come to bid farewell too is a born of serere but also has roots in Ngora. but he opted of course to work in a few areas and one of the areas he worked was uh, vision terudo after working for some time in vision terudo he opted to get out to begin his own initiative that is of his dream to see to it that education in Ngora and teso can be redefined because he had seen schools were there that were legendary but these schools could not accommodate everyone. Those schools include schools like uh, the mighty Ngora High School, the mighty Teso College, the mighty um, other, other related. But of course, bringing it back to the basic, we would not forget to remind you that today here, we are sharing a life of an icon, a life of a great man, a life of someone who changed many lives. Very many people whom you're seeing here have been touched by the person we're celebrating in one way or the other. He actually uh, gave chance to the poor, people who could not afford to study, to have chance to study. That those kids who could perform very well, but it was always a challenge for them to be in position, to move a mile, to see to it that they can be in position to attain full education at a low cost. So he always gave some of them half batteries. Some of them, parents could come crying to him and he could hear and he could listen and he could take it up and say, it's fine, let's get back on board and let's see what we can do. So that actually defined the life that he lived. He abandoned every other thing, every other job that he would have opted for to actually pursue the dream of raising one of the most popular, I would say, secondary schools in the history of Teso. Most of you are from Soroti side. You know Soroti SS. You know the numbers. Now I would say this is a replica of the Soroti SS in Mora. Very many of the professors that we know, of the doctors that we know, of um, I would say the young doctors, the young professors that actually Teso has, have gone through this. And when you listen to their history, when you follow their path, you will realize that these all achievements 
came through this individual whom today we are here to celebrate his life. The man who is just lying by the side of uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, field. I would say we have here different dignitaries from all walks of life. We have uh, political leaders from different political platforms, NRM, FDC, Independent, UPC, and so many other related. At the same time, of course, next to the tent you're seeing is the tent of the family. That's the bereaved family. And of course, um, on the other side, uh, we have uh, a team of uh, artists who actually decided to design a song for the late. Pani Jai so uh, upper view in CJRS reporting. Loda Tete Besapon of Somata Riboro, Tete Siten Sengwang Marete, Loda Ongora Tungale Po, Ituritos Papa Charles, Pona Lemi Somi Keboro, Pona Lemi Tujokaro Rashoma Noi Noi, Ongora District, and Memoria TV, Bill Ben reporting. I. I <laughs> It's a professional international to be is a graduate of last and dramatic. After the to to and she is a first year in Kavala University doing a report in engineering. Now, I think I'm already Ottoman Pestle. In case you are a Jew or Rona, a Jew or Morona or Yoka, they are going to teach you. Now, the first thing I want to know. And of course, we have different tents this side. We have different sub counties represented, different organizations, of course, seen. And, and not forgetting, we have the school fraternity, of course, uh, the students themselves also coming to be involved because. They feel they've lost someone who has not just only been a proprietor of a school, but a father, a friend, a brother, an uncle, as very many guys actually called him. Every time they went to him, he could tell them, me as me, I am an uncle to your son, so let him go to school. Go sell the turkey and come and pay. Something that I would say is not known in most of the private schools that we talk about today. So, Oyuruka is an icon. Mora opted to say they want to bury him here. The family said yes, they want to bury him here. He had said when he was alive that he wants to be buried here because of the mark that he has made here. He has been in Ngora and he has become more famous in Ngora and he has died as a man who has inspected people in Ngora than any other place that actually you'd say his original home. So Ngora, as Ngora people, we surely 
feel the pain. And as one of the persons who stood for MP ship, I would like to say education was one of the key areas that we kept crying for. But now where we are today, a pillar has gone. The big question is, as we mourn for him today, as we celebrate his life, to you is watching us from wherever you're watching us from, I would like to just say that all you need today is to pick up lessons. You need to pick up a few notes to take home. You need to pick up a few lines from this man's life. You can inspire anyone. You can inspire any child. You, can, you don't need to actually have a lot. For this guy, he never had a lot. He only had an idea. And I would like to say on behalf of the Emuria TV that you're watching right now, every idea can materialize into something big goal. And as long as you say no to all the fears around. When we talk about the fears around, there are very many things that we would call fears. One is the people around you, the inner circle, your friends. You can think of an idea that I want to begin a school. But they will tell you, how will you begin a school? Oh, I want to stand as an MP. Oh, I want to begin a radio station. Oh, I want to begin a Muria TV or a Attacker TV or any other TV. But those guys around you, out of 10, 8 will tell you, but your grandfather has never owned even a bicycle. How do you expect such a miracle to happen? But when you look at different histories of different people, the Obamas of this world just had self-belief, had a dream, walked by the dream, refused to listen to any other distractor. You can do the same. I'm saying my name is Isaac Olipot, reporting for Emuria TV live here in Ngora.